What do all these waves have in common? They are all transverse waves. A transverse wave is a wave moving in which the oscillations are at a right angle to the wave movement. Notice as this hand oscillates up and down, the wave moves at a right angle to the oscillations of the hand. Let's take a look at the anatomy of a transverse wave. The crest is the highest point of the wave. The trough is the lowest point of a wave. The resting point, also called the undisturbed position, is the position the medium would take if there was no wave. It is represented on a graph by a line to the center of the wave. The propagation is the direction of the wave. Wavelength, represented by the symbol lambda, is the distance of one wave, and it's measured from trough to trough or from crest to crest with a transverse wave. Amplitude is a measure of the energy of a wave, and it's the distance that the crest rises above the resting point or the trough is below the resting point. The more energy a wave carries, the greater the amplitude. Frequency is the number of waves that pass a fixed point each second, and it's measured in hertz. For a transverse wave, you can count the number of crests or troughs that pass a certain point. A shorter wavelength will result in a higher frequency than a longer wavelength. If you'd like to know more about waves, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.